Association of Northern Alberta. And I just did an amazing job tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no worries. So my first question for you is, how is the tour? Like, how's the tour going so far? Well, um, in in the U.S., yesterday was the last show. We were in Austin, Texas. It was amazing. Well, it has been amazing from the start. And I think um, part of the reason, too, um, that a lot of people were so excited is because I have not toured. I think the last time I toured in America was two years ago. And I've spent all my time in Europe and the UK. You know, so I'm back this way, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'm back up now. That's amazing. All right, so first questions first, I guess that our viewers are wondering is, how do you like to spend your free time? What do you like to do for hobbies? <laughs> I, you know what, my free time is spent with my daughter, my son, you know, hanging out with the kids, my family. I love to hear family conversations and chat and memories of stories, you know, of things that we've done when we were little. You know, those are my fun times, you know, like just remembering things, things my grandmother used to say and um, stuff like that. Otherwise, um, I'm a very, very family-oriented person. I just love to hang out with my family. So like my husband, my mother, my all my cousins, my aunties, all of the crazy stuff, the beach, you know, stuff like that, yeah. That's awesome. All right, so it is known that a lot of the proceeds from your albums have gone to the American Cancer Society. Right. What is giving back to you? Like, giving back to everything. Everything? Why? Because we we were not taught in school that um, we we are supposed to share and care for each other and that we are all connected in some way, shape or form. And we were not told that you know now when you're 10 years old and 12 years old, your friends that are around you, you will see them again sometime in your life later on. So try to do good so that the next time that they come around, you know, yeah. good things, you know. Do good so good things will come back to you. We always say that. Even if you're not looking for the good thing to come, it will come. So giving back is everything for me. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, so what would you say is your biggest triumph and your biggest obstacle in being a black female artist in this industry today? Oh boy. <laughs> you really want to go there? <laughs> well, it will be for short and sweet, but <laughs> my biggest, um, I don't think I've met my biggest triumph yet as a black um, Jamaican on top of it, female. Yes. <laughs> you know, because that, that's a lot of strikes. That's reggae, black, and Jamaican. That's three strikes. It's almost like you're already out. Exactly. You know? Um, and against all the odds, I've done a lot and accomplished a lot. And I think I have a lot more to accomplish as I go along. Um, um, one of my, um, I think, the only thing I think about now that happens even now, and, and I think it happens to females all across the world, is that we aren't paid like we're supposed to because we're females and we're thought of as, you know, second or she, you know, has a husband. She can depend on him kind of thing. So the boys get more money than we do. Uh, or the boys could do things that we can't, like do certain shows or festivals with their own bands and we could never do it as female reggae artists. Stuff like that. But I've been, been able to kick down enough of those doors still. But there's some more to go. <laughs> That's amazing. So through all of that then, how do you find that you remain authentic when in an industry that I objectifies women's sexuality and stuff like that? When I look in the mirror, I, I see me. I see everything that I've been through, everything that I've accomplished. I see all my pain, all my happiness, all my strength, my weaknesses, everything about me. Yeah. So I don't allow anything to change the view of myself. You know, my own view of myself. And so I don't believe that I have to be naked. I don't believe that I must do anything someone says because they said so. You know, I'm more of the rebellious type who do what I feel my heart thinks is right to do. Right? So even if I feel like, oh, they won't appreciate it or they won't appreciate this song, I do it anyway because there's someone out there who will. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> So what message do you hope 
and want your music to give to people? Like, what's the main message? Strength, love, light, caring, um, and sharing. Um, and even just a positive vibe. Even one of those days when nothing is going right, you don't know the answers to anything. You just want something to take you into that positive mental space. That's what I want my music to do, to always take you there. Don't be there tonight. Don't be there tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I guess one of my last questions is, how do you want Etana, the strong one, to be remembered? Just like that. Bring in love, strength, yeah. and light um, to women, to children, to men, to everyone across the board, from babies all the way to grandmas, to remember that Etana means the strong one because it applies to every woman who may believe that she's not strong enough. And that um, the music should always bring you joy and strength, love, and light. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Etana, well, it was amazing being able to talk with you tonight. Your show was phenomenal. Thank you. It's all over my Instagram, my Facebook, my Snapchat, and everything else. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. And honestly, I just hope you look forward to the rest of your time here in Edmonton. We can't yeah. wait to see you again next time. Sure. Down. That's right. And you know what? Next time when I get here, and I've learned a lot being on the road to, you know, um, I've learned that even though a promoter is putting on a show, they don't necessarily know how to reach the audience. So I'm going to make sure I reach my own audience before I go anywhere. Exactly. Period. Whether they're promoting it or not. I've seen this more than one time. Some of it I've been able to catch earlier. Yeah. And my people were like, oh my God, for real, you're coming? Yeah. You know? Exactly. So, yeah, so I've been able to catch some of that real quick and sell out a lot of venues, but I need to do that a lot more. So I'm, I'm on it. All right. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah. You've got it, viewers. This is Atana, the strong one. <laughs> You'll see her next time as she touched down in Edmonton. That's right. Good night. <laughs>